Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, please be part of this journey. Help grow the channel by subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification for new uploads. Thank you so much for your questions, your suggestions, your opinions. It means a lot to me. Um, I try to do my best to improve in certain areas of the tutorials, uh, example, like the full screen. I managed to get that. Still need to manage to figure out another app to uh, have the tutorial uh, with more time on it without cutting into two, three tutorials, but I still haven't gotten to that yet. Also, I, uh, time to time, I receive a comment here and there about my nails that are sometimes in the way of the stitch and I do appreciate your comments and I thank you for for your opinions and your advices. I also would like you to know that I do try my best to keep them uh, as short as possible but I do not go too short because my career is in uh, nail tech and, uh, of course, as a nail tech, you're not going to have short, short nails because most people look at into your nails and a lot of people into your designs or the shapes or whatever, whatnot. And this is the reason why I don't go short on my nails. By the way, my nails are real. They're not fake. They're not plastic. They're, they're my nails. Uh, some people might think that they're fake or whatever, whatnot, even though if I did have a fake, I would have no choice because being a nail tech, you do have to have some length on your nails on there. But no, they're mine. I um, basically put uh, either a bit of acrylic or gel over my natural nails so they don't break. Um, but anyway, I apologize if you can't see the stitch properly. That's why a lot of times I stop and I show you these stitches that I had just finished doing or the um, the model of the pattern of that row that I'm doing so you can have a look and see exactly what I just finished doing. Uh, sometimes I could make a mistake saying a DC instead of a, um, a single crochet but you can see very well as I'm showing you what I am doing. So I apologize sometimes for making that mistake. Still a few errors here and there about the codes that sometimes I get mistaken by saying it or by uh, trying to put my finger on something and it shows something else. So I apologize for that. But if you find the video to be too fast for you and you want to slow it down, hit the three little buttons up top on the right hand corner. You click there and you can slow down in the video to the speed you would like. So thank you so much, everyone. And for some people that are still having difficulty to find uh, or to uh, understand the rows and so on and so forth, you could always go into the description box. There is my Instagram. You can follow me there and you can write to me through there and you'll get your answers much faster than you probably will here on YouTube. So thank you so much. Um, okay, so... I had also uh, some people asking me how possible to create the pineapple, uh, the one I just finished doing with the rug, the pineapple rug, into a doily. Well, it's the same thing. It's just thinner thread. So this is a uh, four-ply, 100% cotton. And I'm going to do that doily in the four-ply. Uh, uh, four ply. So you'll see how beautiful the do doily will come. And it's, it's a very small, obviously, because it's not an eight ply like a rug. So we're going to get into that. And hopefully you can see the stitch also here pretty well for one or two of you that are getting a little bit still confused on the stitch for the rug. And of course, like I said, I pause and I show you exactly which row and what we just finished doing. So let's get started, people. Um, uh, needle number three and of course you'll need a pair of scissors and also I use a small little needle to tuck in loose ends. So we're going to get started everyone. Please don't forget to uh, give it those thumbs up. It's important to circulate the video. Thank you so much everyone. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the magic circle. So you would roll it 
once you'd put over your finger and you would take the thread inside, pull your, um, your thread in position that you're going to crochet, right? So we grab the thread inside. We're going to do one chain until we've closed up. You can close a bit your, um, your magic ring. Now, if you're still having a hard time, uh, you can, depending up on your stitch, some people have a wide stitch, some people have a tighter stitch. You can do six to eight. You don't want the ring to be too huge, but you don't want it to be too tight either because it's going to take 24 uh, double crochets in here. So you don't want to crample up the uh, double crochets. So we're going to go chain three. Inside of this magic circle, we're going to do 23 more double crochet. So you're going to have a total of 24. Because of the chain three you went up, it equals a double crochet. So I'll meet you at the end. Once you've done your 24 double crochet, you're going to come in third space here and you're going to slip stitch through it. You're going to pull your magic ring and you're going to close it up. So you're going to leave a little bit of a space hole there because we don't want to cramp up the pattern either. Okay, so this toilet could be put pretty much on top of anywhere you'd like, a small little round table, a square table, a uh, coffee table, uh, ta uh, just regular kitchen table, uh, any type of, you know, whatever uh, furniture you have. Uh, counters. Okay, chain three. On the same space, we're going to do double crochet. One two chain we're going to skip one we're going into the next space double crochet into the same space we are doing another double crochet chain two separation skip one into the next space double crochet we're going to do this the same way all the way around chain two separation to the whole row Okay, so same space, two double crochet. So it's going to end up being like this. And this is what I mean when I say I stop and show you. So you could always pause there and you can see what was done as I'm explaining. Because sometimes I might explain wrong. But if you see it, you're going to say, oh, but she said double crochet, but it's a single. Well, here's a chance where I might have made the mistake and you can see exactly what I did. Okay, so do yours until the end. Close it with slip stitch on third uh, space, on third chain here. So I finished row two. I've closed in with a slip stitch on the third chain. I'm going to do the walk. So into the next uh, stitch, I'm going to slip stitch it. I call it the walk. Into the space where the square is, I'm going to do, um, whoops, made a mistake already so it's always good to look up ahead the video on anyone's video for that matter to make sure that there's no mistake done like I was just about to make one so we're gonna go up chain three so always look ahead of the video to make sure that there's no changes made or an error made so another double crochet in the same space that we went up chain three next space so now we are increasing on the double crochets. So we've closed in with the slip stitch. We did chain three on the same space as we did chain three, another double crochet, next space, double crochet. So we start with one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. And this is how the rows are going to go from now on until the length desired that you would like your uh, doily. So same space again we're doing double crochet. So we're increasing to three double crochets. So if you're doing uh, row, um, uh, row four, row five, so row four would be four double crochets. Row five, five double crochets, always adding one at the beginning, okay? So you do until the desired length you would like to have. 
okay how big you want to go on it so same uh, space another double crochet so you're going to have two double crochets on your first double crochet so i'm going to continue mine on all my rows until i feel that it's enough of uh, length for me and then we'll we'll start doing the edge with the pineapple i'll meet you at the end of mine okay just because we are still here so basically you want to tuck in if you're doing a magic circle i'm going in through the loops back here i'm going to pull this thread and i'm going to pass it through uh, the loops in the bottom here and i'm going to hide it and at the same time it's going to be secure enough that if you're deciding to wash it or if you're giving it as a gift the person eventually is going to wash it then you know that nothing's going to come apart because everything is already pretty much tucked away safe. So just go a few times in the loops back here, inside of the loops, grab your, your thread, your yarn, whatever you're using. If you want like a table, um, table runner a round table runner for your table to match your rug you would go with aunt lydia number three would be the perfect size uh, for this and for um and that would be like a six seater and up if you're doing for a four seater go with aunt lydia number 10. so we cut off the excess thread you pull onto it a bit here and you have the perfect finishing on your pattern okay so i'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did all my rows, as you can see. The difference between this and the rug, obviously, uh, thinner thread, so it's smaller the piece. In the rug, for the pineapple, I did 14 rows because it's huge. It's big with an 8-ply. Eight, eight because this is a 4-ply, it's very small, so I did up to row 16. So I have 16 double crochets, Okay. So it's 16 row. If you come from the beginning, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Anyway, until 16. Come to the last one. I'm not going to do the two chain and close it here because I need to start off the middle. So in order to start off the middle, the easiest, simplest way is to make a double crochet sideways. So you would do a normal as if you were doing a double crochet. And then you'd close it up so you'd end up in the middle of the square okay let's do that again make sure that there's no confusion so you would prepare to do your double crochet on the third um, space on the uh, chain three so you do your double crochet and you'd end up on the middle of the square we're gonna go up chain three and we're going to do two more double crochets. We're going to create a group of three double crochet with two chain separation. And three more double crochet inside of the square here. Okay. So now you have three double crochet, two chain separation and three more. Because I do have, um, I think my thread is stuck. Good God. Okay, finally I untangled myself on the thread. So like I said, we did the uh, three groups, two chain, three groups of double crochet. Because we have eight double crochets here, so we need to go in the middle of the half. Two, four, six, this is the eight. So we'd have to go here two four six eight so we're gonna uh we're gonna do a one two three four five six seven eight chain we're gonna go in the middle of the between the, the uh, two eight double crochets so two four six and eight Right in the center, two, four, six, and eight. We're going to create the double crochet. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five chain. We're going to create another double crochet inside of the same space. So we're going to have this little V 
chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to come and create our two groups of three double crochet exactly as we did here. So this row is going to be repeatedly the same way all the way around. Okay, so create your three double crochets, two chain separation. On the rug I have three chain separation. That's because it's thicker thread, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, it's so thick it needs that space of the three chain. Because this is thin thread, we only need two uh, chains, okay? Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, you would count your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'd go in the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in between. So you have eight double crochets on this side, eight double crochets on the other side. You do your double crochet, five chain, one, two, three, four, five. You do another double crochet. So you're creating that V like that. And eight chain again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I mind to tell you that if you wanted to finish this, um, this edge of the pineapple in a different color, this would have been the time to change the color on your pattern. Two chain separation and continue doing the three groups of double crochet. So this is row 17 because I ended with row 16. Continue on and I'll do mine. You can do yours and I'll meet you at the end. You can close up on third space, the third uh, chain uh, space here with the slip stitch. Everyone, so I've changed my color to the green just because I'm going to be short on the lavender to finish it up. So on mine, this will be safe and sorry. And green will look, this is a lime green. So it's going to look beautiful. So row 18, starting row 18. So I, you would walk uh, if you had to, if you're do, doing the same color, uh, your whole piece. So you'd close in with slip stitch, walk through the center, do your single. Do your two chain and create the group again. So row 17, where we have the group stays the same. Two chain separation. Trying to hide my thread here. And create your um, three double crochets again, all in the same space. And then whatever is left over of And we'll cut up the rest. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to do seven chain. We're going to come inside where the V is, and we're going to do ten double crochets inside of the V. We're starting to create the beginning of the pineapple. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have ten double crochets where the V is, two groups, and seven chain. Again, seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And where we have the group, we're creating the group again. Three double crochet, two chain separation, and three double crochet again. Okay, so continue row 18 this way. All the way to the end. Get to the end. Close up on the third chain with a slip stitch. And we'll continue row 19 afterwards. One. So... I finished doing row 18 going into the 19. So I close in with a slip stitch. I walk with a slip stitch into the center of my space with a single two chain. Did my two double crochets, 
two chain separation and three more double crochet. So the groove stays the same. And we're going to do six chain. Two, three, four, five, and six. I'm coming into the first double crochet with double crochet, one chain separation. Next space, double crochet, one chain separation. Next space, double crochet, one chain separation. So it's always going to be like this uh, on this row uh, where, you where you start the pineapple. So you do one a double crochet, one chain separation in between into the next space and you continue on doing your groups where the groups are and six chain separation in between them. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you're going to have 10 the same way as you have on the previous row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Chain where the group is. You continue doing the group. So continue doing your row. I'll continue mine. And I'll meet you at the end. Close in on the third uh, loop where we started the single and the two chains. So we're going to close it with slip stitch and we're going to do the walk like we did with slip stitch into the center with a single and two chain going up. I'll meet you on uh, row 20. So this is 16, 17, 18, 19. And then row 20 is the next one. Okay, everyone. So I finished my row um, 19, I'm going into row 20. So we've closed in with a slip stitch on the third uh, space, on the third chain. We walked with a slip stitch going into the center. This group will stay the same uh, still. So one single, two chains. So nothing changes here yet. So continue to do your three double crochets. Of course, the first one would be considered as a double crochet, two chain separation, and two, and three more double crochet. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five chain now. So we are decreasing on chains. We're going to come into the first space in between the double crochets. We're going to close it in with single because we're going to start to create those loops of the pineapple. One, two, three, four. I'm only going to do four. On the rug, I have five because it's a bigger piece. This one, I'm going to do four, only four chains. Two, three, four next space in between the spaces one two three and four chain in between the spaces one two three and four in between the spaces with single One, two, three, four chain in between the spaces, as you can see, creating the little loops of the pineapple. One, two, three, and four. And the last one. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to have eight little loops one two three four five chain and create the group again so continue your row i'll continue mine and i'll meet you at the end close in on the third uh, loop on the chain that we started and walk with slip stitch to the middle of the group I'll meet you here in the middle. Uh, 
Okay, everyone, so we pretty much finished doing. So this is 14, 15. No, this is 16. I was thinking I was in the rug. Sorry about that. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we finished doing row 20. We're going into the 21. So row 21, it's going to change up a bit over here. We're going to have three groups of the three double crochet, which I've noticed on the rug video. For some reason or another, this app keeps deleting some uh, videos. I don't understand why. So I'm going to have to make a small video for the rug just for these rows that this is missing on the rug. So two chain, okay? So do three double crochet, two chain separation, three more double crochet in the same space, three more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five chain again. We're going in into the pineapple with the five chains. So you know that row, uh, so let's say this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 is three groups of the three uh, double crochet. One, two, three, and four which is a different amount on the rug because over here on the rug we have 14 double crochets and not 16. That's why it's not the same amount. Good God, I don't know what happened with that video, but this app is really getting me on my nerves. Um, for some reason or another, it just keeps deleting some of my recordings and I don't notice that until after I'm watching the video to see how it went and I started noticing that there's some there's like two rows missing on the video good god lord have mercy you know you try to fix one problem and you end up with another problem I mean oh my goodness so one two three four four chain and into the loop so now we're decreasing on the pineapple one, two, three, and four. I'm going to have to go and explain it with another video and to the rug. Yeah, it makes no sense. One, two, three, and four, and five. So where we have the groups, it's going to be three groups of three double crochet. Two chain separation. Three more double crochet all in the same space two chain separation and three more double crochet five chain one two three and four two three and four so we're going to repeat this round the same way all the way around probably a stitch here so do yours and I'll do mine and I'll meet you at the end make sure you go into the third space with the slip stitch walk with the slip stitch to the center here and I'll meet you here on the center okay so it's three double crochet groups Okay, everyone, so I had to make a very short little video explanation of the rug.
as you can see it there. It was missing uh, row 19 and 20. Thank God I looked at the video uh, to see how the video was and noticed that it was deleted from the editing. I don't know how that happened, and that's happened like the second time now. It's really frustrating me. So I had to do a little explanation on it. But for some people that might jump into this one to see how it's done this row, which on the rug, this row we just finished doing is row 19. Here is a different number because on the double crochets on the rug, I only have 14. So it becomes row 14. Here it's 16 because I have 16 rows. So we finished doing. Uh, so this is uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we finished doing row 21 on the rug, pineapple rug. It's row 19. So we're going to continue on. So we closed in with slip stitch. We're going to continue walking. I call it the walk with slip stitch to the center. And we're going to, okay, so single, two chain. We're going to create two groups of three double crochet in here. Show you in a second, two chain separation and three more double crochet. So we have three groups down here. We're going to do one chain separation. We're coming inside the next loop. We're going to create two more groups of three double crochet. Two chain separation. And three more double crochet. So in reality on the rug, this would be row 20. So after creating the two groups, two chain separation, um, one chain separation between them, two more groups, two chain separation, we're going to do chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to come into the pineapple and continue doing our chain four in the pineapple. We have this little kitten that Garfield, I call it, comes around and really teases the dogs every day at the same time. So one, two, three, four. Dogs go nuts when they see the cat. Cat is smart, likes to bug the dogs. And it always happens when I'm recording. So we're going to create the groups of two again. Two chain separation, groups of three double crochet. one chain separation and into the next loop with two groups of three double crochet again. Two chain separation and three double crochet. So we're going to repeat this row all the way around with four chain and four chain on the pineapple. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 22, correct? This is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we finished row 22. We're going into row 23. We closed in with a slip stitch. We walked with a slip stitch, a single, two chain, two double crochet, two chain separation, and three more double crochet. We're going to continue on. We're going to go in the center here. No separation. We're doing one double crochet. Two, three chain in the same space. Another double crochet. So we're going to create a V 
in the center. No chain separation. We're going into the next loop and we're creating the groups again of double crochet. So three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. Very simple. Chain four, going into the pineapple again with chain four and create our pineapple. So it's going to be repeatedly like this all the way around. Nothing to it. So exactly what we did here, we're going to do in all of them the same way. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we finished creating row 23. We're on row 24. So I slip stitch, walked with a slip stitch, did my group of three, two chain, and three more. Now, we're going to do one, two chain. We're going to come into the center of the V and we're going to create our group of three double crochet and two chain separation. Two chain separation. And again, three more in the same space. So this row is going to be repeatedly the same way. Two chain separation. And create our group again where the groups are. Two chain separation and three more double crochet. Four chain, one, two, three, and four. Going into the pineapple one, two, three, and four, and create our pineapple the same way as we've been doing. So just repeat the row the way we just finished creating it. One, two, three, and four chain, and back into the groups. So we're gonna do our two groups of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet on the first group where we have the double crochets, the groups, two chain separation inside of the V. We're going to create two groups of three double crochet exactly like we finished doing. Two chain separation and three more double crochet. Two chain separation and again create our group of three double crochet with two chain separation and three more double crochet. And now your four chain into the pineapple. And continue the pineapple with four chains. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we're pretty much finished doing row 24. We're going into row 25. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to walk to the middle. With a slip stitch coming into the middle, I'm going to do a single two chain. We're going to create the group here as we've been doing. So three double crochet, two chain separation. And three more double crochet. Now 
I'm going to do one two chain separation opening into the middle and doing um, one double crochet two and three chain and one more double crochet so basically we're repeating this uh, row here one two coming into the next group if you find yours is too tight then you can do another chain for the separation so instead of two do three so we're creating a group three double crochet two chain separation and three more double crochet So we still have four uh, loops on the pineapple. I'm going to do chain four, two, three, and four. Coming into the pineapple. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to continue this row all the way around the same way. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we finished doing row 25, we're going into row 26. I've closed in with single, uh, slip stitch, sorry, walked with slip stitch, did a single, two chain, and created my group again. You should know how to create the groups by now, I hope. And now we're going to do one chain, and we're going to come back in and do two groups of three, double crochet with two chain separation. So this is no different, this row from uh, this one here, which is row 24. So same thing, repeat the same process. One chain and continue on doing your groups. If you find that it's pulling too much, then do a two chain instead of one chain separation, okay? Doesn't change anything on the pattern except make it more comfortable to lay flat on top of your surface wherever you're going to put it on. We don't want it to be pulling too much. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to continue this row the same way all the way around. Chain four again for the pineapples. And we're almost done. So creating groups. So this is all about groups here on this uh, motive. Okay, so do yours. I'll do mine. And I'll meet you at the end. Close in with slip stitch on the third um, chain uh, that we did at the beginning. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, we're starting row 27. So I closed in row 26 with slip stitch, walk with the slip stitch, one single, two chain. Did my other two double crochet, two chain separation, three double crochet, two chain separation again. So we're repeating the same thing as row 25. Okay, so it's always one row like this with the groups and one row with a V, okay? One, two, three, and another double crochet on the same space. 
two chain separation. For some of you that your stitch is extremely tight, you can do three chain. It doesn't change anything on the pattern. And we're going to create our groups again. We're going to do three chain separation this time. One, two, and three. We're going to pull it into the pineapple. Because we need to close and start closing it in more. Two, three, and four. So we continue with the four chain. One, two, three chain. And then to the groups. Now let me just see here if I need to. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to continue doing the groups exactly as we did here. Two chain separation and continue to do your V. Two chain separation and then your groups again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we finished doing row 27, I believe. row 27. So we're going into row 28. This is the last row for me. You can do two ways. You can um, do this as the last row or go into the next one and do single crochet all the way around. You can do a peacock in between the groups. I'm going to do a right through here because I have the right length that I needed. So I've walked with the slip stitch. I'm doing my three groups of double crochet. I'm going to do my three chains and I'm doing my peacock while I'm at it over here. And that's why I'm having it as the last row. But if you want to do just a regular, uh, as we've been doing groups and then do uh, row 29, just singles, you can. I'm going to do two chain. I'm going to come and see with a single in between here. One, two chain. I'm coming in the center of the V. I'm going to do my group. And if it's too uh, sloppy, or not sloppy, but if it's too loose, then do one chain only, and if you're extremely loose, then don't do any chains at all. So let me see with mine if I can get away. I probably can get away with no chain. So I'm going to do the group here inside of the V. One, two, three chain. Doing the peacock. And I'm closing in with the slip stitch because I don't want an opening in the middle here. And if you do it with a single, if you close in with a single, you're going to have an opening in the middle. And I don't want that. So again, I'm going to come into the middle here with a single. And I'm coming into the middle of the group here too. Create my group, do my three chain for the peacock, close it in with a single, and continue doing the three double crochets to complete the group. One, two, three chain, coming into my last loop here in the center of the pineapple. As you can see, I'm going to create the three chain again, one, two, and three, and I continue doing my group. Now on the rug, it goes to row 25. That's what single crochet all the way around. So you can do another row. If you're to do this row without closing it, you would have to repeat the same thing as this one on here. 
And then this one would be your last. You know what I'm saying. We just have to add the same row and repeat what we've been doing. And then close it in with single crochet all the way around. So here I am going to do a single. Coming into the V, creating my group with the three double crochet, three chain, come into the first one here, close it in with slip stitch, your peacock. Now, if your stitch is extremely tight, then do a one chain separation in between the groups. Each one has, each person has a different uh, um, tension on their, on their crochet. So you should know what works best for you. My best might not be your best. So you have to remember that. Okay, people. So we're pretty much done with this. I will have the pictures and the video display at the end. Um, I'll also put the rug uh, link into the description box on this. And vice versa, I'll put the link to this one into the rug uh, too. So I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart again for being part of this journey with me. And please, newcomers, if you like, please do subscribe. And also, everyone, please hit that bell notification. Uh, I hope that this upload is not going to delete any of, or on the editing, delete any of these recordings because it's so frustrating. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, again, okay? Until next time, bye-bye.